Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm hoping that I didn't do this where it is a private thing and nobody's here, but we shall see. So let's see if some people show up. Sometimes it's been like only me and I'm sitting here talking to myself, which is really kind of weird because you know, you don't want to just sit and talk to yourself. So I have oh, some really good stuff to share with y'all today. First of all, hey Misty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my microwave pork rinds. We're gonna do something with it, very special. Hey Darcy, and so let's start. Hey Vicky, let's start with putting these little puppies in the microwave. I'm so excited, y'all. Hey Loretta. All right, so we're gonna start with just pork skins. But this is gonna magically transform into a mega treat. Yum, yum, yum. Hey Barbara. So, y'all, these things, the best thing about these, hey Ruth, is they are just, you only put them on for two minutes, first of all. And these things, I get so excited because they keep popping and snapping and crackling. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jane. And they're amazing. So, while that's microwaving, I am going to um, get some other things prepared. First of all, y'all drop me a one below if you've ever bought Swerve Powdered Sugar. I'm about to make your life so much easier. Um, so I bought the Swerve Powdered Sugar and I also have bought, my cord's so short, this is as far as this is gonna go. Hey Sherry, hey. All right, so I've also bought the Powdered Sugar. Oh, thanks so much for sharing, Barbara. Hey Lindell. So I bought the Powdered Sugar and I would rather buy one product than two. So, watch and learn, guys. Hey Sandra. So I'm putting a quarter of a cup of erythritol in my little blender, and I got this blender, my mom gave it to me. So a total of a half a cup. Oh, thank you for sharing to our group, Lindy. You're the best. If you would like to share, please share to a keto group, because these are such good things. Uh, Sherry's in Florida visiting her son. Teach him about keto, girl. Hey, America. So, I'm literally, like, can y'all see, like, there's powder coming up from the top of this thing. All I did, hey Steve, is just took it and blended it. Do you all see that? Let me show y'all. So, it just needs to go a little bit more, but it is powdering. I usually use my magic bullet, but I moved, so my son has got it somewhere. I don't know where, but it is somewhere. Hey Haley. Hey, hey Pam. So, it is so powdering up. This is not the best thing to do this in. Hey, Haley. Hey, Bubba. But this is going to work quite nicely. So, obviously, we have the dust going on. We have powdered sugar. So, I wanted to let y'all know that these are almost done. Now, I needed two bags for this particular recipe. Do y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can hear. I'm going to put it in my little, put it in a little dish so y'all can hear. This is crazy. These are the lightest, fluffiest, most amazing. You can still hear them snapping. Do y'all hear that? He's lost 40 pounds in three months. What? A oh, way to go, Sherry's son. Thanks, Lindell. Powdered erythritol. All right, so this is snap, crackling, popping. I've got that one open. I'm going to do the other one. So basically, you open it, you shake. I think we broke Walmart because we sold Walmart out. Thank you, Robbie. We sold Walmart out, and there were no more to be um, bought. Start. There were no more left to purchase. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little saucepan. So, y'all know I like glass, so y'all can see everything going on. Hey, Jessica. Do y'all hear that snap, crackling, and popping going on? Like, that makes me happy. So, we are going to take these and magically transform them into something else quite amazing. I'm going to take my little dish, and I am going to add the rest of my ingredients that I need in there. Oh, Sherry. So, what these are is they're called puppy chow. Now, I've recreated this recipe. Y'all drop me a two below if you've ever had that real fattening puppy chow with the chocolate and all that. Hey, Maria. So, um... I want y'all to know, like, this can be done. Anything you like can be done keto. So keto. Hey, Jessica. So, it's called puppy chow, and I'm going to use a half a stick of butter. I was so proud of myself, y'all. I found, hey, Christina, I found my little measuring spoon, so I'm so proud of me. 
And I use pure vanilla extract. It's Watkins, so it's really, really strong. Hey, Sherry. So I'm just going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of that. It does not take much. Just a dab will do you when it comes to this. My daughter, she does not like to use it. And I'm going to, um, you can use any kind of coconut oil that you want. Um, but I like to use um, MCT oil. I figure if I'm going to use it, I'm going to use the best. Hey, Sherry, see? Y'all y'all done that. Y'all know. Y'all know. So I'm just going to use just a little bit for a coconutty flavor. And also, it's got um, three different kinds of MCT oil in it. And it's just going to equate to a tablespoon of that little goodness. So, y'all know I love these cups because they'll measure tablespoons. And this is 143. It is, um, oh, it's virgin coconut enriched MCT oil. So, hey, Doreen. Hey, Sue. It smells so good. So, I'm going to mix that in with my butter. We want just a, a mild coconutty taste with these because coconut is really, 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 really good for desserts. So, we have our second bag of microwave pork skins. Um, we did find it, I think, on Thrive. I can't remember. There's another place that people found it. Maybe Walmart's got their life together. Thank you for sharing, America. Where did I get my measuring cups? I got those from Walmart. Aren't they the best little things? They will measure tablespoons, because y'all know I'm terrible about tablespoons. And um, I just love them. So, again, hot snapplin crackling and I'm gonna take both of these actually let me do this I want these oh I love when y'all can see stuff so y'all know that I am the queen of clear clear pots clear bowls clear everything so I'm gonna take those crackling little hot things of goodness I'm gonna put them in a ziploc bag do not let any of them get away. Hey, Donna. Hey, John. And I, I well, it's, no, I'm not using Chex Mix. I'm using pork rinds, Christina. I love that MCT oil was a blessing after the birth of your throat. Yes, it is. It's like um, a natural life remedy, MCT oil. Especially this one's got three different types in it. Thanks for tagging your friend, Anna Heather. Hey, girl. So, as y'all can see, we have a nice big bag. Now, this calls, the recipe calls for, y'all know how I feel about recipes, but it calls for four cups, but I'm just going to call it two bags. This is so snapping still. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's still crackling. I hope y'all can hear it. It's so exciting. So, um, the erythritol, you can use like, oh, I love these pork rinds. These are so good, Sherry. These are way better than any pork rinds that you'll ever get. Even my fresh pork rinds that I got from the barbecue, um, place that I go to. These are just better. They're fresh. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Jessica. Hey. All right. So y'all can see that I have powdered my sugar there. It is powdery now. Now, because it is erythritol, I should have used a bullet, magic bullet for this. Hey, Miss Diane. So it is not as powdered as say, um, swerve would be, but if I use it, I've done it in my bullet before and it was totally completely powder. So this is just going to, and this one I don't need, um, I just need a mild, and this is going to be a quarter cup of powdered erythritol. I only tried once pork rinds and didn't like it. Sherry, these are completely different. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Claudia. These taste different than all the rest, all the rest. So if y'all are enjoying this, please share out to your most favorite keto group. They will love it. How do you all ground? Okay, so I'll tell you how I grind um, whole seeds. Like, I do this with flax seed. You can do it with chia seeds. You can do it with sesame seeds. You can do it with any kind of seed. Is get yourself a coffee grinder. So, any coffee grinder, they're about this size. They're super small. I have one. Again, I think it's over the old place. I still have to get it. But you put it in there and grind it up. Absolutely wonderful. We'll grind any of those types of seeds up. So now I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm not even looking at this recipe. Let's see. Oil, butter. Oh, I'm gonna hold off on my sugar. The next thing is, y'all know my favorite thing that I cannot measure. Hey, Flo, is peanut butter. And the favorite peanut butter I like is Peter Pan and it's whipped creamy because it is three net grams of carbs. Now, some of you who are more um, strict or whatever in your keto have certain ones like almond flour and I mean almond butter and all that. I'm going to be honest with you. Thanks for sharing, Lisa. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I absolutely 
do not like the way almond butter tastes. I'm just not an almond butter kind of girl. Y'all know I can't measure peanut butter, especially with a spoon, because the first temptation is that I eat it. So, you know, that's what I do. So, it says a half a cup. Well, I don't think I really want a half a cup of peanut butter, because that's going to add... Well, let's go ahead and do it. Y'all know I love peanut butter. Let's do it. So, that's going to give me... Do y'all see... Do y'all see the problem here? Like, if there ain't that much peanut butter on a spoon, I just don't know. I have that kind of blue label peanut butter. Girl, it is so good. It tastes really good. It's really light. I love the natural peanut butter. Oh, flax seeds and peanut butter. I don't like the almond butter. It just has a taste. Um, love this pork rinds. Takes the place of chips. Yes, that's definitely what it's supposed to do. Because a lot of pork rinds that are already done in the back. Y'all see my issue with peanut butter, right? I struggle so much with peanut butter. Um, a lot of them that are already in the bags pre-made, they just don't have, um, the freshness that I like. So I'm going to put two of these little couplets, I call them couplets in there. Hey, Jeremiah. All right. So that's one. Y'all, I just want to eat the whole thing of peanut butter. And you know, if you really just don't have anything in your house sweet and you need a fix, Go grab yourself a spoon of peanut butter and save yourself from cheating, you know, because sometimes it's, it's so easy to grab a Snickers bar or a piece of bread or something else if you don't, um, if you're not careful. I got these from Walmart, Sherry. Actually, no, no, Family Dollar. I got these from Family Dollar. My daughter got them, but then I found them on Walmart.com, and before my video was over, they were, like, sold out. It was crazy. All right, so I think I have sufficiently measured a half a cup of peanut butter. You can use a little less peanut butter if you like. Y'all know I'm going to lick the spoon, right? Hey, Beverly. So good. It's my own kitchen. I'm allowed to do that. Not that I'm even reusing the spoon, but hey, good stuff. Hey, um, I think it might be Yesenia and Adam. Um, all right, so I've got my coconut oil in there, my peanut butter my butter. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on low heat. Y'all know I cook with gas. Hi, Ruth. So, I've got my gas and I've got my glass dish just for you guys. And we don't even need that on full blast. We're just going to let that melt. Now, what I'm going to do, once I get all this stuff mixed together, I'm going to pour it over these and put them in the freezer. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You're so sweet. Um, what kind of peanut butter is that? This is now an empty jar of peanut butter. Y'all know I love this stuff. Um, Peter Pan whipped creamy. Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. Peter Pan was my favorite as a child. I don't know about y'all, but I love some Peter Pan. Y'all are so sweet. I used to eat Reese peanut butter cups. Yes, you can make your own Reese peanut butter cups too, Ruth. Y'all are too sweet. Okay, so I've got a quarter cup of erythritol. It asks for 12 drops of liquid stevia. Y'all think I should put the stevia? I might put stevia in there, too, just to make sure. Um, well, hey, Aunt Sandra. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I try to be. And, you know, some people, if, if you don't like chattiness, you need to turn this off and, and check. But I like to share all the little tips and tricks. Aunt Sandra's actually, it was at her house that we discovered the powdered sugar thing. She's like, I got a bullet. So we pulled it out, and boom, and there it was. Hey, Ruby. All right, so we're going to use three tablespoons. And, again, these little cups are perfect. Y'all, I got a bunch of them. My aunt's got them too in her cabinet. Um, so proud of you and all you've accomplished. Aw, you're always bragging on me. I love you, Mandy. Amanda. Hey, Kathy. All right, so these little cups, again, gonna come in handy, and it's telling me that I need three tablespoons. So, y'all can see, actually, on the inside of this, there's markings for measuring, and then this is two ounces, but it's also four tablespoons and a quarter of a cup. So you can do all of those. Sherry, all I did was microwave my pork skins. You can use pre-made ones too if you like, but I just love the microwave ones. They're the best. So we're gonna use, um, this a quarter cup actually is four tablespoons, so we're not using that much. We're gonna go down to three. I'm trying not to get cocoa everywhere, but it's wanting to splash a little bit and that's okay get that cleaned up 
Any of y'all got teenagers that just don't like to do their chores? It's crazy. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Ruth. Um, didn't catch me at the beginning. I got you. Hey, Bobby. All right, so y'all see we've got this melting. Melting so nicely. The peanut butter is the last thing that's going to melt here. So I'm just going to give it just a little bit. Oh, y'all, this, hmm, this is smelling so good. Yummy. I don't know about y'all, but I like peanut butter and I like chocolate. I also thought about throwing some nuts in this. Matter of fact, let's do it. Y'all like nuts? I like nuts. Let's throw some nuts in there. Nuts are good, satisfying fat. So we are going to do just that. And the nut of the day is going to be natural sliced almonds. So I'm just going to take about a quarter of a cup and put them in straight in with my pork rinds. Hey, William. So add just a smidge more. So that's going to make it super yummy. I'd better not make my own peanut butter cups. I eat them all. I'm with you, Ruth, on that. I am with you there. Okay, so this is nice and melted, and it said after it's melted, I'm going to put um, my quarter cup of erythritol in there, and I'm going to put my three tablespoons of cocoa powder in there. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I'm measuring. All right, so we're going to get that. Oh, if any of you are not in my 15-day fat burning challenge, Please send me a message if you're interested. We only have a few days left to get that going. If you're interested, it's always nice to do stuff with a group of people, isn't it? All right, so I am clearly seeing the need for... Oh, I had myself prepared. Hey, Anna. All right, so clearly seeing a need to add my little um, mixer in here. And just whisk it just a smidge to get that mixed in really nicely. Y'all, this is smelling so good. If you don't make anything else, and you could microwave this too. I guess I'm being dramatic by doing it on the stove. <laughs> oh, that's okay too. Now, I'm going to do a little taste test to determine if I'm going to put my stevia drops in there. Make sure I got everything. Oh, I already put my vanilla extract in there. Mmm. Okay, so I did use the erythritol, but I'm also going to do, and these stevia drops, I'm not measure drops. I measure squeezes. So I'm going to say one, two. I've made an executive decision. Two squeezes. I don't know how many drops that is, but when I do my coffee in the morning, I'll usually do two shorter squeezes. Mmm, perfect. All right, so two squeezes. That is now officially a measurement. Y'all drop me a three below if you make up your own measurements as you go. Hey, Leslie. Super good. Now, we're going to turn this off. And I am going to get a cooled bowl for this. Hey, Karen. I'm going to pour this into there. Y'all, look at this. This is so good. So exciting. I love new dishes. So I think this is going to be a winner, and I'm going to have to run everyone off. Tell everyone, no more puppy chow. All right, this is really good. So I did get a, um, I am using a freezer bag. So let's, let's do some magic, guys. Can y'all see? Hopefully. Wow, I'm only going to use half of this. So good. Just gonna mix it around in there. Super, super good. Y'all, I don't know. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so we have nuts, we have crunch. That is hot. Let's see what it looks like. Now, the next thing you'll wanna do is you'll wanna actually stick them in the freezer. Hey, Kylie want to stick them in the freezer to get them hardened. I'm going to put, okay, so I just eyeballed it. Looks like it could use a little more to coat it all the way. Let's do it. Let's just go for it. Let's put the whole thing in there. Waste not, want not. There's somebody that's starving of uh, chocolate out there somewhere. So, 
Mm, too good. So let's sh give it another shake and see what we come up with. I think these are going to be super amazing. Now these particular um, pork rinds are unflavored. So y'all know I usually like to season them up with um, some goodies. Now I am going to stick them back in the bag to put them in the freezer. But I wanted y'all to see this. Is something to be reckoned with. Mm. Okay, there they are. Super, super delish. I'm even gonna take this powdered sugar in my hand. I'm gonna put a little bit on the outside of that. Y'all, that is so good. So good. So if you want a little peanut butter chocolatey snack. This is for you. I will post the recipe. I didn't think I was going to use all of the liquid, but I did. If you guys love, love, love this, please share it out. The recipe will be in the description. I'm super excited about it. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for sharing. And if you want in on that 15 day fat burning challenge, please send me a message. I will get you a kit. You're awesome. Hey, Carolyn. So for those of you that are just tuning in, this is the goodness. It is so good. So I'm going to probably put the whole plate in my freezer. The reason is the plates get nice and cold. And so they have it um, even colder. It gets colder. So Ruth said, found pork rinds on Amazon waiting to order. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all too, the name of it, they are Lowry's. L-O-W-R-E-Y-S. Super, super good. Y'all have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's all one word. Keto Gammy, K-E-T-O, G-A-M-M-Y. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next round. I'm going to put these in the freezer and then yum, yum snacks later. Y'all have a good night. We're going to Dollar General. <laughs> Actually, I got it from Family Dollar, Barbara, but you can order them online. It does look so good, Carolyn. They are delicious. Delicious. It's peanut butter, cocoa, sweetener. And then I threw my almonds in there. They are so crunchy. So fresh. I don't think I would do these with bagged pork rinds. Like pre-done. I think this really would work best with the microwave ones. If you can't find them, I think Thrive. There's another site that had them. I think someone said Amazon had them. But make sure you don't get the hot and spicy. Or you might want hot and spicy. There are some things that are like spicy chocolate. So that works too. So um, if y'all need any help finding them, I'll be glad to help. But we broke Walmart trying to find them. So now I'm on a kick. I have one bag left. Oh. So as you can see, like I don't know if you can see the top ones, the powdered sugar part of it kind of helped to dry it out a little bit. I think they, um, in reading the reviews, they kind of want to melt some. So you probably want to store them in the fridge as well. Y'all have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for joining us, Sylvie. Y'all do the replay over and out from Keto Gaming.